Greetings, I am the wrestling fan. I may not be the best wrestling fan, but I am the finest. Well, peeps and peepettes, a very sad day occurred in the world of professional wrestling a few weeks back. WWE finally pulled the plug on ECW. Oh. I know, I know, I know. But they did replace it with new WWE programming. I know, I know, I know. It's actually a show called NXT where veteran WWE wrestlers or superstars train younger talent and teach them the business. Like, um, like The Miz teaching Brian Danielson how to wrestle. <laughs> Enough said. And while it wasn't very surprising to hear of ECW's departure, actually it was a few years overdue, I was still really saddened to hear of ECW ending. I mean, ECW really meant something to a lot of the fans. Even the past few shitty years kind of meant something. Even though it was kind of hard to stay a fan of ECW, with ECW champions like Kane... <laughs> Chavo Guerrero. Hey, oh you look lado, we eat the ones you wanna Or him. But now that I've gotten over the initial shock and I can't cry any more tears over ECW, I think I'm gonna look through my wrestling DVD collection to find a little piece of ECW nostalgia to watch, just to remember the good times. So um all right, let's go find something. Okay, here's my wrestling DVD collection. We're going to try and find us some ECW. Let's see. Uh, WrestleMania. Nope. No Mercy. I don't think so. Uh, what is this, a man DVD? Get that shit out of here. Uh, let's see where we can find it. Uh, there's some ECW. It's not quite what I'm looking for. What the hell? Huh. You know, the funny thing is, I don't remember actually buying this DVD. And I also don't remember anybody getting it for me. I really don't know if I want to watch this. I mean, it's been rated one of the worst, not just one of the worst WWE pay-per-views of all time, but one of the worst wrestling pay-per-views of all time. I've just heard awful things about it. I really don't know if I want to watch it. But looking at it, I mean, how bad can it actually be? I mean, you have ECW originals like Rob Van Dam, Sabu, the new face of ECW, CM Punk, one of my favorites. They're all competing in an extreme el elimination chamber match for the ECW title. How bad could that be? And apparently, for one night only, you have the reuniting Hardy Boys versus the reuniting Eminem in a tag team match. That can't be that bad. Well... I wanted a bit of ECW nostalgia, and I guess I got it. I know it's not old school ECW, but the ECW that just ended, it was the new ECW, and this is a new ECW pay-per-view, so I guess I got my wish. Alright, I'm going to go watch this. I'll be right back. Well... That actually wasn't that bad. It was fucking terrible! Oh my god! That was one of the worst piles of shit I've ever seen in my life! I mean, I have not been that bored since watching George W. Bush's speech on Medicare! I, I'd like to stay here all day, but I gotta, I gotta go to Vegas. <laughs> okay, okay, gotta calm down. Gotta calm down. Yelling never helped anything. It may make me feel better... That was just pathetic. It was so bad, I actually feel inclined to watch it again just to rip it a new asshole. So even though I really, really don't want to, let's go ahead and watch this pile of shit. So, we open with a video package talking about the Extreme Elimination Chamber. Apparently, one of the most dangerous matches in wrestling history wasn't extreme enough, 
so they had to put weapons inside so they could beat the Holy Christ out of each other even more. Well, that could be fun to watch. Something to look forward to, right? <laughs> NJ, this wrestling catastrophe is now underway. Oh, look at all those fans. Just waiting to be disappointed. And there's Taz and Joey Styles, wondering what the fuck happened to ECW. Ugh, oh, alright, let's get to the opening contest of this wrestling catastrophe. The opening contest for this wrestling clusterfuck is actually one of two matches that were actually advertised for this pay-per-view. The reuniting Eminem versus the reuniting Hardy Boys. Out first is Eminem, looking like two lubed up penises, and Melina. Oh, Melina. Someday you'll want an average looking man as your husband, and that average looking man is gonna be me. You again, which kind of sucks in my opinion, but this doesn't. Look at the hottest entrance in the history of the game. Oh my god. Ooh, bad shot. Ooh. That's a keeper. Out next are the Hardy Boys. Ah, uh, listen to all the women scream. That's right, the Hardy Boys. Wait, what? You know, I find it kind of weird that they don't call them the Hardy Boys anymore. I mean, when they got back together, they were called Team Extreme or the Hardys. Was WWE really concerned that people were going to mistake them for the mystery solvers known as the Hardy Boys? Who knows? Anyway, I'm obviously not going to show you the entire match. But I have decided to show some match highlights, mainly because this is the only match on this pay-per-view that actually does have highlights. A couple of times, Oof. and again, it's well for Joey Mercury. Think, whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Hardy going for that splash mountain bomb. Possibly, no. Oh. Delicious, but you better run. Oh. Oh. Team wrestling of Eminem right now taking a toll on the uh -oh. Hardys. Uh oh, watch for this. Oh, look at that count. Oh. No doubt about it. Watch out. Oh, oh, it. Uh oh. Oh, man. Look at Nitro. Got him. Oh, man. The body to fly. Oh. Oh, twist of fate. Here it comes. Oh. Hard. And since then, it's been downhill for Jeff Hardy. Uh oh. Oof. Jeff Hardy. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out. The whisper in the wind. See a snapshot? Oh, there it is! Look at this! <laughs> Double neck breaker! The hell is going on here? You don't think it? Wait, that's an Eminem sandwich! No peanut butter! Oh, oh, oh. Cover! One, two, oh, oh, oh. What a match. You know, I heard a rumor that every time the Hardy Boys pick up a victory, a woman somewhere climaxes. Oh, oh just like that. <laughs> Who was that? Now, I'll be fair. That was actually a pretty damn good tag team match. Not the best, but pretty good to open this pay-per-view. But what pisses me the fuck off is that they start out with an actual good match. One of the two matches that were advertised. And it makes you think this is going to be a really good pay-per-view. Do not fall for its trap. It's bullshit! We then cut to Rob Van Dam, who's doing a promo about the extreme Elimination Chamber match. <sighs> is it just me, or does he look stoned in every interview that he's ever done? What the hell am I talking about? Of course he looks stoned. He's always stoned. Okay, pay-per-view. You actually gave us a really good opening contest. What do you have next for us? Also from Dotcom earlier this week. A Mad Striker match. Yippee. <laughs> nice sweater. Approaching the ring first. He's a former social studies teacher from Gordoza High School. What? He's a former social studies teacher from Gordoza High School. Why would they announce him as a former social studies teacher? This is wrestling, right? I mean, do they think it's gonna, for some reason, give him credibility to the audience? Dude, a Matt Striker match is on next. Oh, fuck that, I don't wanna watch Matt Striker wrestle. No, dude, you don't understand. He used to be a social studies teacher. Oh, well, I'm sure this will be an excellent wrestling contest then. Anyway, looks like Matt Striker wants to say something. 
Would you like to see someone like me in an Extreme Rules match? An Extreme Rules match? On an ECW pay-per-view? <laughs> Surely you jest. Oh, jest he shall, because this match will not be Extreme Rules. Instead, it will be contested under... Strikers Rules! Which is fucking stupid. Alright, let's see his opponent. Yay, Balls Mahoney! You know, I don't know why, but every time Balls Mahoney comes out, I always picture some little kid trying to get his grandma in the audience to chant Balls. Come on, Grandma, just chant Balls. It's part of the fun. Uh, no, no, I, I don't want to say that word. Oh, come on, Grandma, it's part of the fun. Just chant it. Balls, Balls. Uh, okay. Balls, Balls, Balls. <laughs> See, it's part of the fun, Grandma. You know, your your grandfather had a pair of balls on him. Okay. Hmm. They weren't always wrinkly, you know. He actually had a nice big pair of smooth balls. Okay. Hmm, yes, they were actually very nice. There were many times a day he would like it when I would suck on his balls. Can someone take Grandma home, please? So they have a basic wrestling match. And it sucks. Balls wins, by the way. You know, thank God this wasn't Extreme Rules, because something horrible could have happened. It might actually have been fun to watch. And obviously, they weren't trying to go for that. We didn't see CM Punk uh, punching and kicking ghosts for some reason. That's right, Punk. Punch Casper in the face. Kick him! We then go backstage to a shaky cam to see... Oh, it looks like somebody's down. I wonder who it is. Oh, come on! Oh, good job, pay-per-view. Let's take out Sabu. The suicidal, genocidal, homicidal Sabu. Because he wouldn't have been exciting to watch in the Extreme Elimination Chamber match, right? You know, Sabu's been through a lot of shit. In the old ECW, he was actually in a barbed wire match with Terry Funk, ripped open his arm, taped it up, and finished the match. But somebody backstage ambushed him, punched him a couple times, and he can't compete in the match. Pretty stupid, WWE. Okay, let's just move on to the next match. Looks like we have Elijah Burke and uh, Grizzly Adams. Versus the FBI, full-blooded Italians. Ah, uh, stereotypes. Aren't they wonderful? Now, our last two matches weren't extreme rules, but I'm sure this one will be, right? This is a tag team box set for one fall. Fine. Because it's not like I ordered an extreme championship wrestling pay-per-view to see anything extreme. That would have been stupid. Okay, to show you how good this match actually was, let me just show you this clip. You gotta be kidding. What the hell? That's right. The crowd actually started to chant TNA. Enough said. God damn it, I'm tired of seeing this shit with Sabu. I'm already pissed off enough. Just show me the next match. Oh good. Our racism has arrived for the evening. Ugh. Okay. Who's he fighting? Yay! Tommy Dreamer's here! The innovator of violence! Well, this match has to be contested under extreme rules. This bout is set for one ball! Really? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So we have another standard wrestling match, which sucks balls. I love this. Tommy Dreamer is running right towards the rope, and doesn't see Kali pulling it down. Ring awareness, folks. Not every wrestler has it. Oh, and George, look at him standing out. Well, I think the referee might have seen that. Oh, oh yeah, I think he did. No, no! You can't get rid of Kali. You need him there to keep the audience fixated. That's why you made him a world champion, because he's a ratings blockbuster. <laughs> Okay, this match sucks. Who wins? Davari. Great. 
Let's move on. That's right, Tommy. Crawl away from this horrible pay-per-view. We then see Paul Heyman trying to find the old ECW. Nope, not in there. Now, my obligation is to do what's best for ECW, which means I have to find a suitable replacement for Sabu in the Extreme Elimination Chamber. Don't do it. And it's been a really, really tough decision. Don't. But everybody's going to have to respect the decision that I've made. Do not do it. Sabu's replacement will be... you, Hardcore Hobby. God damn it! After that horrific news, we go to the ring with Kelly Kelly and Mike, not a good wrestler, and, well, it looks like Kelly has something to say. I just wanted to wish CM Punk good luck in the Extreme Elimination Chamber. Hey, come on, that hurts my feelings. I'm more talented than CM Punk. Well, I'm better looking. I don't want to wrestle anymore. Well, let's see what they're facing. Followers of vampirism and Kevin Thorne and Ariel. Hey, look, Twilight's arrived three years early. Now, we haven't had an Extreme Rules match yet. Should I even ask? The following contest is a mixed tag team match set for one fall. Fuck. So, yet again, we get a standard wrestling match instead of an Extreme Rules match. Awesome. Ugh, stop screaming, you Bella bitch! Girl on girl? Oh, oh finally, at least something hardcore is happening. Oh. Right, don't be gentle. The human neck was not made to bend that way. Thank you, Dr. Styles. So Kelly gets her ass beat for a while, and then she finally gets a chance to tag in Mike Knox. But, aw, what a dick. Well, that's what you get for going out with a bad wrestler, Kelly. So Kelly Kelly gets pinned, and the Twilight Freaks win the match. And just when you were about to lose all hope that anything extreme could happen on this pay-per-view, we get a surprise. Kevin Thorne! Oh! Finally! Finally! Something extreme! <laughs> Thank you, Sandman. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know Wayne Brady was also a wrestler. Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? Now, to be fair, Bobby Lashley has the credentials and the background to be a tremendous, tremendous professional wrestler. Now let's, let's hear his mic skills. Overcome the odds? I don't give a damn what Paul Heyman throws at me. <laughs> oh my god. We then cut to Big Show, trying to find where his career went. Oh goody, we have Paul Heyman coming to the ring. You know Paul, if you're still trying to find the extreme, trust me, hit's not out here. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be your main event of the evening. Do not let the cheering fool you. The crowd is just happy that the show is almost over. And right before I came out, I was standing in the back, and I, and I realized to myself exactly what has been created. A shitty duplicate of a formerly successful company. So Paul Heyman talks forever. And then they finally explain the rules of the extreme elimination chamber match. After a five minute period... Oh, the match will only be five minutes long? One of the pods will open at random, releasing not only a competitor, but one of the four weapons. <sighs> Damn. Okay, I really don't want to go into a lot of detail about this match. Mainly because if I have to watch much more of this pay-per-view, I'm going to rip my own heart out of my fucking chest. But I will say up front, this is not the worst Elimination Chamber in history. That honor belongs to the Elimination Chamber match from SummerSlam 2003. So I will go through this match, but as quickly as I frickin' can. So we get to see all the competitors in this extreme Elimination Chamber match come to the ring. The ECW Champion Big Show, CM Punk, ugh, Test, Wayne Brady, or Bobby Lashley, ugh, Hardcore Holly, and Rob Van Dam. 
So the match gets underway. Yay. And we start out with RVD and Hardcore Holly. Yeah. Who would have wanted to see RVD and Sabu start this match out? Because that would have been, oh, I don't know, entertaining? We didn't see the first pot open. Oh, CM Punk with the chair. Hey, you can't show blood. WWE is going to go PG in about three years. <laughs> I love when they just stand there waiting for the chair shot. And next out of his pod is Test with the crowbar. Whatever. Now I'm really rooting for CM Punk in this match. What the hell happened? Did the ref just get tired of this pay-per-view and how bad it actually is and just didn't want to count anymore? Thanks. No! Oh my god! Elbow to the steel chair! Right to the face of RVD! Forget, forget about it. Done. Holy cow. Test eliminates RVD. Yeah, because that's what we wanted to see. So Wade Brady is supposed to be the next one out of his pod, but they're not going to let him out. Oh, come on, I want to sing! Oh, how am I going to get out of here? Oh, I know, I'll use this easily breakable wooden table to break through these steel chains. Oh, uh, thank God sometimes wrestling makes no sense. So Bobby Lashley escapes his pod, and eventually eliminates Test. Thank God. So it's now down between Bobby Lashley and Big Show for the ECW Championship. And you know, sometimes people always wonder what wrestlers say to each other when they're in the ring together. Well, when the Big Show exits his pod and goes after Bobby Lashley, him and Bobby Lashley actually do say something to each other. And I have the audio. Dude, this pay-per-view has sucked ass. Yeah, no shit. Okay, I can't take much more of this shit, so let's just get to the end of it. Bobby Lashley spears Big Show, pins him, and becomes the new ECW World Champion. Oh, happy frickin' day. And that was ECW December to Dismember. I hate it so fucking much. It was just a big rotting carcass piece of shit. But you know what really pisses me off of this whole damn thing? On the back of the DVD, the DVD case, it actually says three hours runtime. Bull shit. It wasn't three hours long. The pay per view itself was two hours and 20 minutes. Barely. You know what? I don't want this damn DVD next to my actually good wrestling DVDs. I'm tossing it in the fucking trash. And you know what? Since I'm so pissed off at Vince McMahon over this WWE PG crap and now this wrestling debacle, he's going in the trash too. You know what? I would like Vince McMahon to apologize for destroying ECW, destroying its legacy. And you know what? Just say that you're sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. But in all honesty, if you want to be sorry for something, be sorry for WWE PG. Fucker. Oh my god. You know what? I was actually depressed about ECW ending. I'm really not anymore. Not if it was going to produce garbage like that. But to be fair, I only blame two people. Vince McMahon and Stephanie McMahon. Because they would not let Paul Heyman do what he wanted to with the new ECW. And I understand. They're in WWE now. They can't do the things they used to do and get away with it. I get that. But good God, Paul Heyman had that company going pretty strong for eight years. you think he'd know what he was doing. And sadly, the day after this pay-per-view, he left, never to come back. And they lost a major asset. ECW was never the same. Now, obviously, people are going to say that ECW died in 2001 with the original company. And some people are going to say that ECW died... You know, just a few weeks ago. I think this pay-per-view is what killed ECW. It killed its name. It killed everything about it. Oh, God. I just don't know what else to say. There's nothing else I can say. I'm done. All right. Till next time, folks. God, what a shitty pay-per-view. <laughs>